to the No Spin News on Wednesday, September 25th, 2024. Stand up for your country. So busy program today. President Biden on The View. That was amusing. Uh, PBS presenting a fraud last night on Frontline. We paid for it. You and me and all the good working people who get taxed. We paid for that fraud. Where do you hear this? It's amazing. I got uh, notes here uh, that I took on this. They're written down or scrawled down, but I'm going to read my notes because I want to be very precise when I analyze this frontline thing. Uh, and that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. So every four years since 1988, the PBS series Frontline creates a documentary called The Choice, where they give you profiles of the two people running for president. So last night, um, they presented uh, Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. But presented really wasn't the right word. So they had about 20 people on the documentary that hates Donald Trump, that hate Donald Trump, disparage Donald Trump, throw them up. I'm going to read you the names. It's crazy. Mary Trump, if you can believe it, was on there. Jonathan Carl, ABC, David Marcus, Mark Fisher, Louise Sunshine, Tony Schwartz, Marie Brenner, Timothy O'Brien, Michael D'Antonio, Barbara Ress, Gwenda Blair, John Bolton, Anthony Scaramucci, Noah Bierman, Peter Baker, Carol Lenning. So all of them, all of them have disparaged Trump. They're all in the same frontline doc. Now, how many have disparaged Kamala Harris? How many people do they have? That would be none. <laughs> None. All right. Now, they did have Gingrich, Newt Gingrich, Kellyanne Conway uh, and Roger Stone, uh, you know, very little airtime. So it's, let's say it's 20 to three. And um, I here's my review. OK, so they start with uh, background. Now, I wrote the book United States of Trump. So I know all about Donald Trump and I didn't learn anything from Frontline. They probably they just read my book and put it on the screen, but they distorted a bunch of stuff. So, for example, uh, when they're looking at Trump's upbringing, Trump was the hellion, the rebellious guy. And he was. He was a bratty kid. And his father and mother sent him to military school. That's true. OK, but Kamala was canonized a saint. I call her St. Joan of Kamala when she was about seven or eight. All right. She was the sainted child against the hellish Donald Trump. And then they go through it. One of the worst things was that they lay on uh, redlining on Donald Trump, which means that uh, because the real estate business kept African-Americans out of certain neighborhoods, that was called redlining. And Fred Trump, Donald Trump's father, did it. But Donald Trump didn't have anything to do with it because he was too young. He was running around Cincinnati at the time. He wasn't the architect of that. Boom. Front line. Oh, yeah, racist. Back to Kamala. Oh, Kamala was, uh, goes to Toronto. Everybody loved her. Everybody loved her in Oakland. And then everybody loved her in Canada. Um, and then uh, they go down the list and they had friend after friend after friend after friend of Kamala Harris. All right. Saying she was the greatest person. I don't mind that. She might have been the greatest kid. No friends of Trump. Nobody. You couldn't drag anybody up. I had a bunch of them. They weren't hard to find. And then they go mentors. All right. Roy Cohen, the devil. All right. He's a New York lawyer. Really evil looking guy. All right. And then they do bring in Willie Brown. They bring in Willie Brown who mentored Kamala Harris. He was former mayor of San Francisco, former speaker of the House in Sacramento. OK, but they don't say that Kamala Harris and Willie Brown were involved with an extramarital affair. Brown was married. They don't say that. But then when they switch back to Trump, Donald Trump cheated on his wife. And I went, whoa, wait, wait. OK, that's true. But what about Willie? He's married. Nothing. OK, now I'm laughing. I'm actually in my living room. I'm not laughing uh, cynically either. I'm going, this is a fraud. 
This front line is a fraud. And remember, we paid for it. And then they go down the list of uh, uh, how great a public servant uh, Kamala Harris has been. There's no record of that. None. But she was the greatest public servant, stood up, this and that, on and on. And then Trump, oh, oh Trump, no, oh, no, it's threat to democracy, on and on and on and on. So you get my drift here. Now, what is serious about this is that when you have every outlet on television, with the exception of Fox News and Newsmax and News Nation, when you have all of the others in the tank for presidential candidate, it doesn't matter who it is. It reminds me of JFK. JFK at all the press. When you read Confronting the Press, you'll just see that. I open up with Kennedy on a boat with Ben Bradley, the editor of the Washington Post. Then there's schmoozing around, little cocktails. Hey, hey. And Kennedy got away with murder with the press. Not literally, but, you know. And now we're back to that. We're back to that. So... The thing that really uh, offended me about the frontline thing, and I believe that PBS is a dishonest enterprise, top to bottom, okay? It's awful. Mary Trump, Donald Trump's niece, has made millions of dollars vilifying him. Millions. And they lead with her? Come on. Come on. That would be like taking a conservative commentator on the radio who hates Vice President Harris and leading with him. But then we never did that. All right, so then we segue uh, to President Biden, who's in New York City, and he shows up on The View. Now, he had been on The View a few times before. He would never interview with me, and I told you the story about how I face-to-face -face asked him. So, look, your boss, Barack Obama, has interviewed with me three times. What about you? And he goes, I'm never going on the fact or blah, blah, because he knew he couldn't stand up. This is when he was VP. All right. So this is a love fest. And that's fine, by the way. I'm not objecting to uh, I wouldn't object to frontline being a fraud if I wasn't paying for it. That's my primary objection here. Don't tell me public broadcasting. You're honest. You're not. You're not. So ABC News runs The View. It's not an entertainment program. ABC News runs it. So if you're going to put Biden on The View, ABC News, then you got to give Trump an hour and have somebody who loves Trump on your staff interview him. Wait, there isn't anybody at ABC who loves Trump. So maybe you bring Sean Hannity in or he do it or somebody like that who, who really likes the former president. No, you're not going to see that. Anyway, it was a smoocharama, love fest. Here is soundbite one. Go. I stepped down because I started thinking about it. You know, it's hard to think of, I know you're only 30, but, <laughs> but it's hard to think of, it's hard for me to even say how old I am. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I, I don't know what you're I mean, Why is that? I, I give my word. It's like, holy God, that can't be right. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> That's not why he isn't running. He didn't step down, and it wasn't because he finally realized he's 82. He knew he was 82 when he ran four years ago at 78. But he was really 82 because now he's really 86. But he was booted. And it's documented. Nancy Pelosi went in and said, look, you either step aside or the Democratic Party is going to pull all your support. That's, that's what happened. So there he is going, oh, no, I stepped down because I finally realized that maybe I should give the younger people a chance. What a bunch of malarkey to steal a word from Joe. And there they are. Ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> you know, again, if you're an entertainment show, you can do whatever you want to do. I don't care. But don't put yourself up, ABC News. It's an honest broadcast. You're not. Here's soundbite two. Trump is, uh, um... Hmm. Careful. <laughs> There's not a lot of social redeeming value there. Uh, yeah. No, you think he, right. But, but here's the thing. He really does not 
does not believe in democracy and the guardrails that our system is set up yes. for the abuse of power. No, all right, fine. That's their line, okay? Now, in the beginning, he lost his train of thought. Biden. He didn't know really where to go with it. And that's what you saw in the debate. And then uh, Joy Behar, you think? <laughs> but again, they were perfect right to spout whatever they want to spout. I predict that Donald Trump will get at least 65 million votes in November. He could get far more than that. But that'll be the, that's his baseline, 65 million. That means that 65 million Americans are too stupid to know what Joe Biden does knows that Trump is a threat to democracy. I think I'm a pretty smart guy, all right? I got a bunch of degrees. I don't think he's a threat to democracy. He governed for four years in a traditional way. I think he made a huge mistake with the election, and on January 6th, he didn't act quickly enough. But I have no trouble voting for Donald Trump. I don't think that the Supreme Court's gonna wind up in a penitentiary, okay? Yeah, you know, that's just me. And that's a memo. By now, you have heard me talk about Delta Rescue. They are a fantastic organization that helps rescue animals from the wilderness. You know, I'm a dog lover. So is Leo Grillo, the founder of Delta Rescue. It is his life's mission to provide everlasting care for these once abandoned animals. I myself have donated to Delta Rescue. Do you believe it is part of man's duty to care for dogs and horses, the animals that so much of our history is tied to? If so, please consider making a donation or consult your advisor about leaving a gift in your will or trust. There can be some tax advantages, and it's a great way to help Delta Rescue accomplish their mission. So please visit DeltaRescue.org to learn more. That's DeltaRescue.org. YouTube address alert. We got two new YouTubes uh, coming your way. YouTube.com slash Bill O'Reilly. YouTube.com slash Bill O'Reilly. It's free. You sign up. You will be very amused. I take on Michigan Governor Whitmer and I take on Whoopi Goldberg. All right. So you want to want to see those. Uh, here's the mail. We got Michael Hicks, Lynchburg, Virginia. As a licensed professional counsel, I can vouch for what you said about Donald Trump, O'Reilly. Um, that he could have won the debate. In my professional role, I'm trained to de-escalate conflict by simply observing and naming what's happening in front of me. You know, Trump got jobbed in a debate. If he had narrated it as it was happening, he would have won. Very simple. Uh, Jim Page, Glendale, California. Brilliant idea on a new Trump advertisement. Humble, apologetic, just what he needs to get elected. Not apologetic. I would never advise Donald Trump to apologize. All he has to do is say what every human being says. I make mistakes. I'm not perfect. That's not an apology. That's a reality. Humble, a little humble pie, go a long way. But, you know, I don't want him to remake himself. I just want him to level with the folks. Bush uh, on the message board, I can't see how any honest practicing Catholic or anyone who believes in Jesus can vote for any Democrat. It's a tough one, particularly if you believe that abortion is a grave wrong. Tough one. Mark Newman of Vancouver, Washington. Thank you, Bill, for sharing policygenius.com. My car insurance jumped 60 percent by using that website. We saved one hundred dollars a month for our two vehicles. Okay, policygenius.com, that's one of our smart life tips. You know, insurance is out of control, they'll help you out there. Uh, Gary Adams, North Bend, Oregon. I joined as a premium member, BillOReilly.com. I enjoyed your interview with Senator Gloria Romero from California. Get some rest, Bill. Rest? R-E-S-T? What is that? I don't even know. Terror Dog woke me up at 5 o'clock this morning. Oof. Um, Joan Carlson, Pierce, Arizona. I mentor children on Saturdays, a fifth and seventh grade boy and girl. We started reading, uh, confronting the presidents together. What fun. I am so happy to hear that, Joan. 
share the book with the urchins. And it is fun confronting the presidents. Okay, I want you to go to our uh, store and get the presidential memorabilia, the uh, mugs. Team Normal, not woke, no socialism. They're great. And those are good gifts, too. Um, And uh, we have all of my books there and all of that. We are going to have a premium members only Q&A on the election, October 2nd, Wednesday. Just a heads up, premium members, concierge members only. Live Q&A, 9 Eastern, Wednesday, October 2nd. Okay? You send in questions now, I'll answer them. Word of the day knows, don't be sniffish, S-N-I-F-F-I-S-H, back with a final thought in a moment. The Biden-Harris economy continues to burden the average American with flat wages, higher prices. People are covering expenses with credit cards. And if you're a homeowner and frustrated with that cycle, you can make a 10-minute no-obligation call today with my friends at American Financing. Interest rates are coming down. They are now in the low fives. And if you're constantly carrying a credit card balance each month with a rate in the 20s, American Financing can help put your hard-earned equity to work to get out of debt. Their salary-based mortgage consultants are saving customers an average of 800 bucks a month. And if you get started today, you may not have to make next month's mortgage payment. So please call American Financing today at 888-462-9557, 888-462-9557, or visit AmericanFinancing.net. Hey, you didn't vote for this economy. I know I didn't, but we all pay for it at the pump, the grocery store, and through that stack of unpaid bills. Financial stress is crushing. So what's the solution? DoneWithDebt.com. Unlike others, Done With Debt has new aggressive strategies that free you from debt without bankruptcy or loans. They will negotiate with your creditors so that you'll have more money in your pocket on month one and every month until you're debt free. And the best news, Done With Debt is accepting new clients, but don't wait. Some of their best debt strategies are time sensitive. Let Done With Debt Hit the debt reset button for you and make your money yours again. Don't forget, this is time sensitive, so visit donewithdebt.com or call 888-322-1054. Chat with some of their debt relief strategists for free. Go to donewithdebt.com. That's donewithdebt.com. Okay, here is a final thought, a very nice uh, thing done by Joe Sweeney. Sorry, Joe, I want to get your name right. Joe Sweeney, Naples, Florida. So he buys 100 memberships to BillOReilly.com to give out on a military speaking tour. That means he gets 100 free books. So Joe Sweeney, Naples, Florida, is giving a speaking tour uh, to elite military members, how to transition into civilian life, He buys 100 memberships to give away, and he gets 100 books to do whatever he wants with. So, Joe, you're a patriot. No doubt. And this is what I mean. This is smart thinking. Become a premium or concierge member or re-up. Free book. You want to give those memberships away? Corresponding free books. You save money in the long run because you got Christmas coming up. I know I don't want to talk about it now, but it's coming. So anyway, Joe Sweeney, Naples, Florida, we salute you. Tomorrow, the Confronting the President special right here on the No Spin News. You will love it. Sunday column. We'll see you again on Monday. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, Please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.